Hey Walk Watchers and welcome back to another one of our videos. This is Black Mountain in the Cooley Mountains. So I left the van at the foot of the Fox's Rock there at the Windy Gap car park and headed out the road and took the fork on the right hand side there and headed down towards the bo bottom of Sleeve Trasna. It's only about 8 o'clock in the morning and look at this light, it's just glorious. Blue skies and this beautiful rusty red colour. The sun's doing lovely things. So a quick look back from the side of Sleeve Trasna on the left, Fox's Rock, then Raven's Rock, Eagle's Rock and then Sleeve Foy. So once we get up onto the top of the mountain then we're following the bike trails and the sheep trails here. We're looking for Carnivati. So up the top there is a little cairn there, a little marker at 475, but can you see beyond it? There's actually an ancient burial cairn, so I went to investigate that. Now what I love about these mountains in this area in particular is that they are steeped in ancient Irish history and mythology and legend. Most of us will know the story of the Tawn or the uh, Cooley Cattle Raids and will know names like uh, Queen Maeve and Cahullan and how Queen Maeve tried to steal the big bull from Ulster. And after a number of bloody battles and a really gory bullfight, well, they all just became friends at the end of it. Now, although this isn't the highest peak by any means in the area of Sleeve Foy down to your southeast there, and straight ahead of you is uh, Black Mountain and Anglesey, which are both taller, you still get some great views from the top of this cairn. Look down into Warren Point there, there's Sleeve Foy and that complex of mountains, the Moor Mountains out beyond the Carlingford Lock. And as we swing back round, we're coming across here, County Louth. And then looking up towards Sleeve Gullion and all beyond uh, the Ben Rock there. And there's Black Mountain. Now, I had actually prepared to go over to the Mourns this day, but just look at the weather here. Beautiful. But my target is Black Mountain, which is directly ahead of me. There's a couple of wee humps and hollows to get over first. But it's always a pretty clear target on the horizon with that big aerial on the top. It's a very mixed grassy habitat, this very heathy grassy mix and that's easy enough to walk on and in fact when you get up to the top there is a bit of a roadway that takes you right up onto the top of the Kern. And here it is, Black Mountain or the Claremont Cairn, just above Ravensdale Forest, just above Carlingford Lock in the Cooley Mountains. Now, although this was the highest point on my walk, it certainly wasn't the end of my journey. I wanted to get over to Claremont Northeast uh, top and over to Claremont and then on to Anglesey before I returned to the van. But just look at this weather. Blue skies, cold but beautiful. Now the sound you can hear, it sounds like water. is isn't actually water, it's a chocolate bar wrapper. Don't judge me, I needed the calories, I needed the sugar at this stage. So just around the other side of the station and the aerial, there are seating areas. Uh, there's Sleeve Gullion in the distance. And in fact, across the top of the mountain, there are a number of seating and viewing areas. People come here on a Sunday afternoon and things to, to get away from it all. Now, directly ahead of us is Claremont Cairn Northeast Top, and that's exactly where I'm heading now. I'm going to come off the road here, turn up to the right and climb up this. Well, it's pretty much a hill from here. You go directly over the other side and there's another trail just down below us here and that will take us towards Claremont and towards Anglesey Mountain. Now crossing this stile on the way up to Claremont uh, actually puts us back in Northern Ireland in Armagh. Um, and then as we go back down this uh, little bit of a valley uh, and head up Anglesey, it then puts us back in the Republic of Ireland in County Louth. No passport required to get me over that state border, but I did need to watch my trousers on the barbed wire. And here's my final peak for the day, Anglesey Mountain at 422 metres. What a stunning little mountain. 
Look at the views from here. There's Carlingford Lock down below us. And there's the Mourn Mountain, Sleaf Martin, Sleaf Foy in the Coolies. And there's where I started at Carnavati, Black Mountain. And spinning on round here, I would get to see Sleeve Gullion in County Armagh also. Hello, walk watchers, and welcome to the top of Anglesey Mountain. Um, I've just come off the top of uh, Black Mountain, 508 metres, and this is at 422 metres. I've also done Claremont on northeastern uh, top of Claremont and stuff. As you can see, it's a very windy day. I've had to break out the, the downy jacket uh, because it is pretty cold today. But, um, it's still a good enough day to get out. I was saying earlier on I wanted to go over to the Mourns today and do a wee walk over there, but uh, it gave rain over that side of the mountains, so I've come over to the Coolies. Um, and it's, uh, it's a bit dull, but it started out beautiful and the cloud has come over. It doesn't look as if it's going to rain, but uh, I might just hurry up and get back down. Uh, and right behind me you can see Slee Foy and Raven's Rock and Fox's Rock. Uh, I'll put a wee link up here in the corner so that you can link to that if you want to have a look at our walk of Slee Foy. And down below us is uh, Warren Point. Uh, and the Newry Canal and Carlingford Lock. Isn't it stunning? It's just absolutely beautiful. Um, this has been a really interesting walk. Uh, it doesn't have many trails on it, so you're kind of dodging the wet patches. It's very heathery, very boggy, very peaty. Uh, it's definitely a heath-covered uh, uh, igneous rock base. Uh, and then things like uh, granite and stuff all over it, over the top of it. Uh, so it's a really interesting wee patch. Out behind us, out behind you, that I can see now is Sleeve Gullion. So it's all aiming out that direction. This whole ridge uh, is sort of aiming towards Gullion over there, which is Armagh's county highest point. Um, I don't have a video for that because that was on the Facebook page before we ever got to, to YouTube, but we've climbed that before as well, and that's a great walk if you want to go and have a nosy at that. Some great spots there for the kids as well, if you want to take the kids up for a Sunday afternoon in the better weather. But the interesting stuff about the Cooley Mountains, really for me, are all the stories and the myths and legends that go around here. I've been Instagramming all day, saying, you know, oh, I'm striding across mountains like an Ulster hero. Uh, there's no sheep, but there, and no, there are plenty of sheep, but there's no uh, cows or no bull, you know, trying to lay some clues for people to, to guess where I am today. Anyway, here come the statistics. Uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for watching the video. Um, uh, give us a wee like, give us a wee subscribe if you would. Join the big Walk Watchers family and certainly comment uh, down below because uh, I do love a good chat. So as always, these uh, stats are by no means definitive. They are simply distances and times that I was able to achieve on the day. Black Mountain sits in the Cooley range of mountains at a height of 508 metres. It took me about two hours to get to the top, a total walking time of four hours and 40 minutes. 24,453 steps or a distance of 15.9 kilometres. It started out beautiful, it was 8 degrees but soon became cold and cloudy, 2 degrees on the top, I was by myself, and I parked the van and elephant float sharpened on what three words, at the Windy Gap. Well, that's me on the way back now to Windy Gap. Uh, you can see Sleeve Foy over there behind me. Um, and I'm parked just below uh, the Fox's Rock, just down there at Windy Gap. So, um, just across this bit of boggy bit, uh, join the road and back up to Windy Gap. It's that awesome. easy. <laughs> boggy bit first though. <laughs> Really, it's pretty straightforward. Let's follow the road all the way back to the Windy Gap. Oh, what a stonker of a day! It is just beautiful. So back to the van 
and this is just the most gorgeous day. It's about eight degrees right now. And uh, to be honest, I might have to take the downy jacket off now because it's getting a bit too warm. Um, <laughs> but just look at that view out of Carlingford over to Coveroni. Up on to Sleeve Martin. Okay, so let's have a look at the route then. Out of the car park and up onto Sleeve Trasna, on up onto Carnavati and to the Cairn there. Over the other side and have a look over Sleeve Foy and Carlingford before heading up onto Black Mountain itself. Then up onto Claremont Northeast Top and then over onto Claremont and up eventually onto Anglesey. Then down the other side, back onto the road and eventually back up to the car park. That's been the Walk Watchers Walk of Black Mountain in the Cooley Mountains. Thank you for journeying with us again, but why don't you get your boots on? Go outside and go exploring for yourself, and I'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.